If you are looking for luxury living in Cary, North Carolina, we have a place for you. All right, so we're in one of the gold standard neighborhoods in Cary, North Carolina called McGregor. Yeah, McGregor right? Downs and then yes. McGregor West. There's a couple of different subdivisions. I paused because yeah. I knew there was like a, a part two to that potentially, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. So tell me a little bit about location. Like proximity for this neighborhood oh. is amazing, right? Absolutely. So this is the first planned community in Cary in the 1960s. And so I think whenever they were starting the plan, it was close to the highways, mm -hmm. close to the airport, um, close to shopping. Really, it's a very central part here if you work from home or if you work outside the home um, getting kids easily to sports um, Durham even if you want to go to the performing arts center anything that you want to do this is just such a central hub yeah and then you go down those tree-lined streets and oh my gosh no streets the same yeah. in this neighborhood it's a great neighborhood I remember going to NC State mm -hmm. um, in college in the 90s and it's so funny to see like a transition a change of a neighborhood right Absolutely. so I think it has had like a new renaissance period over the last probably decade oh absolutely because you can go down a street and there's houses there that were built in the 1960s right? right and then you can see because the lots are larger here right because of the the trees and the maturity of it mm -hmm. you're able to perhaps knock down some of those older homes and mm -hmm. then build some really really beautiful homes here in the neighborhood so what's kind of maybe the average size here would you say or what's the range I know it really varies right it varies so if you go back to what that looks like in the 1960s to 70s you're gonna have more of like that box you know little rooms and that's Maybe some split levels. Maybe some split <laughs> levels, absolutely. A few. Some people think we have a ton of basements here. We really don't. It just really kind of depends upon that, that topography of it. So those older homes really aren't going to be that big, right? 2,000 square feet, 2,500 square feet. But then if the lot can can handle it, you can get like a five, 6,000 square foot home. Right. You know, but then you're looking, you know, in, in the multiple million dollars. Gotcha. Here in the neighborhood. So, and I think there are some townhomes here, right? There are. I think that's Balmoral. Balmoral. <laughs> yes. Um, and some townhomes. They're kind of, they almost, they live like single family homes, but mm -hmm. they are attached and they have, and they're just, they um, overlook the golf course. Gotcha. So the amenities here, um, this neighborhood is really known for its, its beautiful golf course. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the amenities mm -hmm. that are here. So golf and, and what else does McGregor Tennis have? has a huge tennis uh community as well as their pool social so here uh, if you live in um, mcgregor it's not automatic that you're part of the the country club it is gotcha. a separate fee it's a separate membership it kind of goes back and forth whether there's a wait list or not and mm -hmm. so depending upon when you see this video i'm not sure if we'll be on a wait list or not but you can be part of the social basically club and, and then the golf membership I think I see some pickleball courts yeah, too. Yeah, some pickle. I think they're redoing some courts. Or doing you may be, or right may now. not be able to hear it, but I think they're putting in some fencing <laughs> today too. Exactly. <laughs> and then of course the pool. They have a. I don't know if they have a swim team, but I think a swim team, and they're able to do some some fun things like yeah. that. But um, so people are here for that that lifestyle. So tell me about pricing. We we mentioned it a little bit before, but kind of what's maybe my low end and, and what's potentially my high end here. It really depends on that condition, right? Yeah. So I even hate to put a number out there. So I do think that you can find a home for the location and the lot and the, the street that you want here in McGregor you could probably get something between five and seven hundred thousand but you're either gutting that home and then I think the highest um, priced house in this neighborhood that um, sold was a little over six million okay and that's so I mean literally that is the range right. but I would say average your well I would say you're starting at about a million Gotcha. Two here. Okay. Yeah. So correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. The appeal here is you could have a brand new home and maybe a mature lot. Mm -hmm. You could have a town home, but it really is about the neighborhood that is things are kind of nestled in yeah. and then you have that uh, rich amenity lifestyle right with golf and tennis and pickleball and, and all the sorts there too yeah and not like I said not every street is, is the same yeah. everything is different and so you just you feel this sense this feels like North Carolina yeah no, totally right? with all the trees with I all get the it. trees yeah. and some of the brick and then some of the new and some of the builders that are here have just done a really great job of building the homes into the neighborhood that's awesome mm -hmm. anything else that we should know about McGregor um, well, if you want to live here, Pam and I are more than happy to help you and we can do that. But it's just definitely if you're looking in Cary and you're looking for that golf course, um, that golf, that country club community, mm -hmm. absolutely check out McGregor. Thank you for joining us for our tour of McGregor. If you like this content, please subscribe below and also stay tuned to some other videos that we have on the city of Cary yep. and also another similar neighborhood also in Cary called Preston. So stay tuned.